Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemi Chisha and my YouTube channel's name is Kemi256. And on my YouTube channel, I share with you my journey working as a housemaid in Saudi Arabia. So if you're new on my channel, you are very much welcome. And if you're my old subscriber, thank you so much for coming once again to check out this video. So for today's video, I'm, I'm talking about is it really a good idea for one to change from an old home to another home as a housemaid? So this may have two answers, a yes or a no, depending on the problems that you have. We all have different problems because we work for different people. But to me, if you are not denied food, if you are paid, and if you're not sexually abused, if you say that though you have problems but you can really persist and work for them for the years that you really want, then I would advise you not to change. Maybe if only the reason you're changing is because of money. Sometimes you've been working for small money, but you really want to upgrade maybe to something like 1,500 or any amount that you wish. Maybe if that is the reason. If that is the reason, that means you'll be able to persist with the problems that comes with it because your main deal is to get the higher salary. That means you'll be able to deal with the rest of the problems that come with that advantage. So you may change a home, maybe because you don't get food, and you may get a home where you get food but you don't get paid. You may leave a home, maybe because you don't have Wi-Fi, they don't buy for you, so they don't buy for you parts as it is always instructed in the contract. And you may reach to a place where they buy you all those things but they give you hard time in payment so every home has an advantage and a disadvantage and this new home that you think that you're going to be going in it may also have even more disadvantages compared to the old home where you're going to live these things of changing a home to another home does not have a guarantee that you are going to find good people i'm telling you this because I have an experience on that. I'm not just talking about what people tell me. I'm telling you what I know. I left a family of six. I found people of 24. Three wives, a husband, 19 kids, and I'm not even counting the grandchildren that we do live with. So you may change from an old home that they have lots of people and end up getting people that even have more than what you thought. The only person I would advise to change is that person who is uh, sexually abused because in any case the wife catches you, there is no way you're going to explain that your husband has really been uh, sexually abusing you. You have no evidence because these wives of Saudi Arabia tend to trust their husbands more than themselves. And by the, the moment you're caught, the man just walks away. And when really God is on your side, that's where you find that the man finds the way of making you to escape. This man will not beat the wife because she has caught him cheating on him. This is not cheating to him or to her. It's you who is seducing the husband. So you, you as a person who has that problem, I advise you that you change. You call the company before they change for you. Another person I would advise to change is that person who is not paid. You didn't come to work for nothing. So if they don't pay you, I advise you that you call the company before they change for you. Because you wait for the first month, the second month, the third month. If you see that those three months are not paying you, my dear, it is going to be hard for them to pay. Because these people, they tend to want us to be slaves. The other person that I would advise to change a home is that person who is being beaten every day. I have my friend who was being beaten every day every day every day they would beat her for no reason like the lady would just wake up and slap her maybe I, me i thought maybe she would like be arguing with the husband then bring the anger on the girl that can lead to death so i would advise you to change but if you don't really have those big big issues my dear don't change because you don't have a guarantee that where you're going things are going to be all right you may leave a home because they don't have Wi-Fi. You reach their home, there's Wi-Fi, but paying you is a big deal. You really have to beg to be paid. 
So if you don't really have big issues, that's my thought. If you don't have really big issues, very, very big ones, then I would advise you to be patient and work for the years that you want to work for them or months. Then you can go back home because you're not guaranteed that where you're going, you may find peace there. So guys, this is my thought about this deal because many people tend to want to change but not sure whether they will change. If you say that your boss you can handle her for the two years that you want to work for, then do it. If you really say that there are some things that you can't handle, then change. It's all about you. But really these people, 80% of them, they are bad. I'm sorry to say that. Also as we Ugandans, we are bad, but 80% of these guys, they are really bad. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this. If you changed, also let me know the changes that you faced. And you can also give this video a thumbs up and you can also share it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video about my life in Saudi Arabia. May God bless you. See you in the next video.